Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War 2 with this French campaign. Last time around, we started the Italian War, or the Italian campaign, by having Napoleon cross the Alps. However, our revolutionary army wasn't really up to scrap. Since then, I have scrapped some units, and I've got in the heavy howitzers, three of them. And we also got a proper general to kind of stand in and actually aid Napoleon. Um, which um, obviously doesn't give the same kind of general benefits to the troops. Which is a large part, I think, why we had so many troops, or why my left flank basically dissolved. Also, I think if you go look into it... The uh, positions on the hill weren't really that all that great um, in terms of the angles and so on. So we weren't able to sh do a lot of damage shooting at the enemy except for certain areas that were really good. Like on the right side where we performed a lot better even though it became a slugfest all around. Um, with that said, before we go any further, let's go over the situation, right? So, I've been able to send the howitzers down, so the two armies in the south have managed to get two howitzers for each army. I actually deleted one too many units in this army, so it's actually missing one. Um, this one is fine, two extra howitzers. We're gonna recruit extra troops for this one, I think... That it was, it was a regular core infantry. I have core infantry that I can send down, so that should be no problem. Um, we're gonna need some other troops, I think. So the horsemen, the cavalry, I think we can spare some other units. These were the carassiers I was thinking. So we get a heavy cavalry unit. I think that is needed. To make up for the fact that our infantry is not as strong, or at least we don't have the same kind of elite units. So I think these will do. Um, they're revolutionary enough. Um, and then, let's see. I was thinking possibly, the thing is I was looking at the different, um, like, Cheval, and there's another one. Uh, which kind of looks like the Tarleton Dragoons, but like the French version. Um, da, 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 I can't find it now. Maybe I'm recruiting it somewhere else. Also, I did note we do have the Lancers, right? Looks like the uh, same uniform as the Polish Lancers for, for the Napoleonic Wars. So I'm thinking these could probably fit in as well. And it is largely revolutionary colors, so we get a glancer there to really get that um, charge in. So we get heavy cavalry, we get lancers, so we will spread them out among the troops. And in terms of what's going on here, I think that'll be fine. As we get more technologies, I'm recruiting tons of howitzers to fit into the other armies. Um, actually recruiting one cannon over here, could be that I... Re took away too many cannons in one of the armies. Um, I think we will get some kind... Uh, we should have some sort of... There we go. We have a Shashapied, which I think also could be sent in. Now it's white, so it's very much the king's colors. Or like an sort of an off-white. But I think as we progress here, we should actually already have, I think, this one should add Voltigeers, which I think fits. Fusiliers, not as much. Uh, Rifleman Scots, no. But the Voltigeers, I think. Voltigeers Francis. I think those, wherever I can find to recruit them, God knows where. Um... But yeah, those might be joined in to complement the demi brigades uh, in terms of light infantry role. Otherwise, we're fine. They didn't touch our navies, so I have the possibility of going after the Genoa navy first and foremost with the um, 
the uh, fire ships being sent in first to kind of break them up or maybe I should save the fire ships to go after the two Spanish fleets that are sitting here if they go ahead and land these troops would cause quite an issue for the armies marching on Savoy since I'm gonna need both those armies to deal with them um, interesting here oh because of the lost battle they're actually having kind of their own revolution going on very unhappy upper class anyways and the lower class is not happy either uh, but that's what's going on in Europe um, for now we'll come back to this because there is work and we're gonna move but I wanted to show in North America we don't really have anything going on in uh, the um, in India and in the East Indies right now the enemy fleets were sunk there the only contested trade area right now is the Strait of Madagascar where we still have a Genoan fleet or a, yeah I think it's a Genoan fleet that is actually breaking down ours but I'm thinking that eventually I'll be having um, you know ships sent there I thinking thinking this Navy right here which is recuperating could go and take care of them and that would sort them out here of course we have a large enemy at our um, at our doorstep so the main thing would be to cut out this territory and then possibly go island hopping taking Santo Domingo and or Hispaniola and Cuba take those islands and then not so much worry about the rest of it to open up a can of worms by going into the jungles there I doubt we'll see attacks coming from those areas so I think as long as we are able to cut out the the two islands and this area will be fine and eventually we can see about getting some kind of peace deal with the Spanish not too interested in going to war with them as that was not part of the plan originally to make it a global war like that by going against the Spanish but the Spanish decided they were gonna protect the, um, the Savoy so anyways we need to deal with this and the first part is to cut off these territories so all their ports are cut off and so the force that is actually here we've got force here but I'm sh pretty sure there's a larger force right around here somewhere it could be that it's marching through here and to come down to New Orleans which would be bad but I am recruiting troops here so what I'm going to do is we're gonna take this force actually we're not gonna start with this side we're gonna start with this side so I do have three of these which are in range to actually attack Georgia which is these three units right here or these two this one is not or maybe I got oh yeah I messed up there, were, there was three that could move and three that couldn't so I've got three that is able to attack and then they get support from 900 men uh, get support by another 900 men that should be enough to demand surrender out to resolve and win so we had 1800 men against the enemy and we were able to take Georgia oh there he is I saw him at the end turn and I was sure he was moving this way but he was standing right there so that's not super great having the enemy a full stack army like that but I will be able to get more troops and I am recruiting troops all over the place so we got lots of American volunteers uh, Pennsylvanian and Boston uh, it's gonna be marching down so we will have the upper hand because I have more centers of recruitment than the enemy so we were able to take that out although it looks like we might not be able to hold on to it and then it's this area right here where I'm gonna send the cavalry first just because they don't actually have the uh, movement range to get all the way however we've got the Louisiana light infantry and they almost make it but we will be getting more troops the agent 
should be... I kind of want him up here because I've got the priest to spy here. So you can actually s follow that army up there. We're going to get more troops going. And I'm also recalling the army that is up in the Black Hills. It's going to march down and take care of uh, these forces right here. And then hopefully the um, Boston and Pennsylvania volunteers will be marching down to deal with this one. So far I haven't recruited any cannons. But I think we'll do fine against these. We're also having a lot of natives um, being brought in to deal with the enemy. So North America is fine in that regard. And then we're back to Europe. And so what we want to start with here is we have armies on the way to Madrid. So let's start with that. So we've got this army right here. And I want to start sending him off. But I want to see what kind of trouble we are walking into here. Which is none. There is no trouble at all. We have two governors of Madrid. Um, different kinds of Spanish grenadiers and stuff. But it looks like... They did not prepare at all. Ooh. That is a pretty cool building, which would have been nice to have, but the thing is, waiting 11 turns for having that, wait, to have that 21 turns even, to have that finished is not going to do. So we're going to march two armies down there. We're going to have more because I'm going to probably have to go down here as well. But you know, this is going to be a major blow. Spain, the middle of the, the, you know, the center of Spanish rule is going to be overtaken by our revolutionary forces because they didn't prepare enough. So this will be the battle for today. And then the next episode will ba be back to Italy. So without further ado, let's strike up the drum and march to victory over the fort of Madrid. And so the siege starts. We're gonna have to break down the walls to gain entry of the fort. Luckily for us, we do have uh, at least twice as many troops as the enemy. However, we've seen what can happen. What are these guys? Hmm. Oh, it must be some kind of... Oh, yeah, it's guard, uh, some sort of sapper unit. That's why they uh, look like that. Um, we're going to try and break through. Once that's done, we'll storm the fort. But first off, we obviously need to break ourselves in. The walls have been successfully breached. It's time to charge in. But it looks as though the Spanish are charging out before us. And they're sending out the guerrilla troops first. They may not look like guerrillas, but they certainly are. Do you get it? Because it's a guerrilla. Gu yeah. Everyone misspells that every time. Like, how many times have you gone on YouTube just to see someone type out guerrilla warfare? You're wondering, what the hell is guerrilla warfare? We've been able to destroy quite a bit of the wall. So we have multiple areas of entry. As the enemy is now pouring on right here, we want to let them pour on quite a few more troops. Until I set these guys on a course to actually move into the fortress here. Ooh, I think that was friendly fire, actually. My cannons... ...are currently firing a little bit all over the place. I mean, they're sh shooting literally <laughs> everywhere. So it might be time to hold fire. We're holding on pretty well... ...given the type of troops that are attacking. 
Let's see, they're sending in yet another one and another one. Another one? What is... Hmm, who is their commander? Could it be DJ Khaled? Another one, another one. Um, maybe not. We'll wait. Hopefully they'll send this one in as well, because if that's the case, then I'm free to send these in and completely surround the enemy force. Although I'm not entirely sure where these guys are going. They're attacking us over here. I really want this regiment over here to uh, pour into this fight right here. Because then I can fully send in these three regiments to kind of close all those off. The thing is, I'm worried maybe these troops will attack us. But could be worth it. Just as I say that, the um, they're sending in the Moors. Do my artillery have a free shot? To fire here, I'm thinking. Round shot should be accurate enough to uh, bounce above our troops. And it looks like it is. This unit's getting overrun completely by the enemy troops. But at the same time, those troops are getting overrun themselves. So we are slipping in through here. There's some armed citizenry. Oh, there's a regiment. Ooh, oh yeah, I completely missed this. As we were shooting this down, Tons of Spanish troops standing on top. Died. Oh crap, the cavalry attacked. More of these cavalry units. So as I was trying to gain entrance, I'm now in a really bad spot where we actually should withdraw out of the fort. This core doesn't even have a number. Um, it doesn't say what battalion it is, it's just infantry regiment. Could that be the original one then? We're pouring so much fire into that. Yet the enemy holds on. What's that? Is that cavalry now coming out? Switch and target the cavalry. We actually kind of won here, and we're holding on there, but we're not going to be holding on forever. So I kind of want to withdraw some of these troops and drag the enemy into the fire of the demi brigades. Oh, the enemy pushed, as I pushed back, the enemy pushed through. Now we're not in the same kind of good position we were in, but I'm going to pull these troops like that and then these like that should open up for at least these two demi brigades holy shit to open up and similar here once these guys retreat oh this one just continued the retreat it did not stop or it didn't uh, stop after it pulled back. I'm gonna open up fire with one of the demi brigades. The thing opening up with this one, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is gonna shoot the regiments over here in the back, which isn't that great. But as more and more cavalry is pouring out over here, we'll get the uh, second demi brigade to open up. I do have cavalry as well, ready to send in. We're starting to see quite a few Spanish troops now break, which is good. We're shooting over here, which we shouldn't, because we're only going to shoot our own troops in the back. 
Do we have an angle here, kinda? We could open up the wall over there. And you know what? The battery over here is much better suited to fire into this mess right here. Okay, I'll allow you to open fire, which immediately breaks the 119th. But it also breaks a lot of the Spanish cavalry which is moving forward here. With the troops up here broken, this unit should pull back and this demi brigade can open up fire break down the Spanish once on even ground like this and spread out in skirmish formation with flat perfect ground we can see the power of the demi brigades I'm wondering if my cavalry is able to fire above, they weren't, fire above my uh, demi brigades. I was hoping just because the cavalry unit is bigger or like larger, taller, they would be able to fire above that. Most of the Spanish troops have now been sent off, but also our own brigades that were sent in have been quite savaged. Okay, time to hold fire with the cannons. They're shooting through our own men. I'm very much... Who, who that that king from uh, what's it called? Um, the king, the English king from uh, Braveheart. But sir, we'll hit our own men. Well, we'll hit theirs too, as well, or as well, right? Yes, my lord. Those troops hold on for a long time. Pulling back and letting the um, demi brigades do the work is the trick, I think. Oh wait, that's a uh, that's the Moors, the Moor cavalry. Let's see, organizing the leftovers of the brigade. I don't know what you're firing at. You can move forward there. And then this one's not really needed here. We'll move to reinforce this area. Oh, um, have I still uh, got it on shrapnel for these guys? Yeah, should be round shot. No wonder we weren't hitting anything. I'm hoping you guys are shooting the more infantry. All my cavalry is surrounding this one enemy cavalry unit. Let's retreat and drag the enemy unit into our own fire. We have one unit of Republican infantry rallying over here, ready to set up. It should be riding straight into the fire of the Demi Brigade. This one, the general can actually deal with the Moors. He should have enough. Let's see, the unit is moving straight towards the Demi Brigades. Ready to get shot into pieces. As long as the unit keeps firing, should be no problem. I 
Right, the moor is still going, apparently. We'll turn these two around and shoot him. And then the cannons... ...can focus in... ...some accurate fire towards that troop right there. You know, you are allowed to shoot these guys. It is the enemy, after all. Fire at them! Break them down. Are we even aiming for this target? And... The more... Should be destroyed right about now. Right, hold fire, you're shooting... Probably more of your own here. Right, so the first kind of attack is inconclusive. However, the enemy has lost a lot more men than we have. Oh, we do. Are, we are trading fire with an enemy unit there on the wall. Move a little bit further and then open fire. What we need to do now is break in and actually take the fortress. There's quite a few guards and stuff left. But I'm thinking we're going to get the Demi Brigades all into regular formation along here. What are you shooting at? Head to the reserves. Let's see if we can't break up the enemy maybe a little bit with uh, the cavalry moving in. And then get these cannons to hold fire. Can I actually get some fire on those walls over there? That's, n that's nowhere close to where I ordered you to fire. Hmm. Is there any other openings I can make here? Not really. What I want to do is I want to break in the cavalry first, hold them in position, and then the infantry can come in right afterwards and actually form lines to shoot down the enemy. Let's get the cavalry into position. Are they doing any work here? A little bit. They're doing a little bit of work against these irregular colonists. You know what? Why don't we try to scale the wall here? And see what we can do by claiming part of the wall. Charge in. Wait, are they about to set up spikes? Yes, they are. Then we need to hurry. We need to hurry to get inside. They've placed them, but they've placed them in the wrong way! The stupid bastards have placed them facing the wrong way! I'll order the cavalry to just go through and just cause as much confusion among the enemy as possible. And then we'll have the demi brigades run through and claim this ground right here. And then the first unit of the infantry will come through and claim this part right there. Building captured. We have the wall here. No longer necessary actually to climb the walls. We, because we control them. Unnecessary to have two units stuck there. Okay, we've got some cavalry retreating now. 
But let's see if the infantry gets through. And that can aid in the fight. We've got tons of infantry slipping through. And coming in to face the enemy. Got tons of infantry slipping through over here. And they will actually be able to fire. Shit. So will the enemy cannons. Do quite a bit of quite a bit of damage on our troops. We got two units ready to set up against them. See if I can get these demi brigades to actually come down from the walls. And we're um, we got quite a few de these demi brigades actually making it in, in through here. Why don't you take control of the house? And then we'll move this one, these, before they shoot down the one that's moving into the house. Which they m might very well have done already, actually. This one should fire up these guys back. Now we've got two here firing upon the enemy and the cannons. And the demi brigades are setting up to be shooting through here. Okay, the unit that went into the house did take a too much damage and is retreating. Any second now, you can fire on the conquistadors. And not entirely sure why you're not firing. You can actually break through a little bit here. Ooh, this unit. Damn, it was uh, almost destroyed by the enemy. Doing quite the number, but they're sending in a guard unit to charge the Demi Brigade. And we got quite the rout among a lot of our troops here, which have lost tons of troops. Lines, 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 lines. They're firing up towards the uh, demi brigades. I'm trying to get them down here. You could slip in through the gate. Yeah, lots of my infantry were broken down through these fights. And. Let's see if we can... Oh, three cavalry units got out of there. It's a howitzer unit. That's why it's not being able to do significant damage on us. Taking control of this was probably a good idea. What are you shooting at? Oh, there's a... It's a unit kind of behind. Oh. Join the rest of the troops over there. The broken down troops. I still have one brigade ready to send in. And these two are definitely doing a lot of damage. You know what? You should just charge the cannons. And then these two demi brigades should set up over there. And as you get in through here, you will be able to fire. Okay, these four should enter the castle now to start taking uh, start taking down enemies. With the cannons now gone. You can move forward and do more damage over there. Howitzer's secured, although um, the Howitzer crew is putting up a significant fight to hold us off. Brave bastards to the end. 
but we are slowly but surely overwhelming the enemy. How did... damn! How are we losing so many men? Or was that... that wasn't one of the new ones, was it? We can't have lost that many men right off the start. You know, you are free to fire. There we go. Enemy general killed. Take control of the flag. And... Let's get our uh, demi-brigades closer. To be able to shoot down the enemy. Heavy losses all around, but then again, we are taking the enemy's capital. No one ordered you to um, take a different position there. Still have some troops up here. I'm not sure where you're going. I think we finally got rid of the uh, conquistadors. I want to order you to move forward. We're probably causing too much friendly fire. Focus in on the troops ahead of you. And then these will be doing the melee. Probably should have gone for the... Um, probably should have gone for the um, flag a lot sooner. Because these guys are going to fight to the very end. And that's just going to cost me tons of soldiers. But we need to hold that around the flag for another minute. There's eight men. Eight Spanish soldiers. Surrounded by all these Republican infantry. And now the enemy has secured the house. Oh, both these demi-brigades are out of shot. They can move to the flag and then this unit can be moved out. Let's see if I can reorganize this a little bit and shoot down the guards. You can come to a better position and shoot down the veterans. Not entirely sure what kind of formation they're doing here. And there we go. We are victorious.
Heavy losses in this battle as well, similar to the Alps. Seems that we lost a unit in the first army. Can't really tell what it is. Actually looks like it's a demi-brigade that might have been lost. Um, because six cavalry, five cannons, and then it looks like the demi-brigades might have lo lost a unit. But 6,500 6, men of ours were killed compared to 6,700 of the enemy. Now that is 100% of their force compared to about 25% of our force. Totally, with the reinforcements that we never had to bring in, we had 20,000 men. Uh, the enemy killed about 5,000 of our own, so we killed 1,500 of our own there. One unit! Managed to kill a thousand men. Not entirely sure how this one managed to do that while only losing 127. How did this one kill so many more than everyone else? This can't be right. We somehow killed 6,000 men and you're telling me one killed a thousand and then the rest is about 300 each? What on earth? Did this... where... It, I can't think of one unit that somehow managed to kill a thousand enemies? A thousand of them? While only losing 127? I know I said the Republican infantry was not that good. Clearly, if you place them in the right position, they can do some great work. There we go. There's the Demi Brigade as well. So the Demi Brigade that was lost. Lost everyone except one soldier. Managed to survive out of that one. Uh, and it's the next one up that killed quite a lot of men. 300. No, com not compared to a thousand, but... There we have that. We just took... Spanish capital. And that opens up so we can see... Um where the other forces are and as it looks right now oh, what's this a Savoy Navy hmm, interesting there is nothing really holding us back actually from continuing on after this um, can I get Portuguese infantry and those are elites I'm wondering if I mean, as part of, um, you know, adding maybe a brigade of foreign troops to each army as we go along, especially if they are, uh, especially if they are, this one isn't actually better than the, um, the, um, Republican troops because it's got not as much in accuracy. I need, just need to bring a... Uh, this one should be able to just continue. Run through this and then we can run over here as long as we open up for the Navy to get through. Wonderful. And that also means that I don't have to send that many armies down there, I don't think. Like, we kind of have enough. And then we can send more into Italy. We'll send one more, just in case. Just because the first army there was basically uh, destroyed. We're going to have um, howitzers move in to aid. It's going to be in... They're going to have one of each for these armies. And then we have this army right here. Which I guess can go in and back up Napoleon. But with that said... We're going to end it right here. So just recap what we just did. We took over ho the whole of Spain except Gibraltar. And then um, we managed to also take Georgia. And we are in quite a good position to liberate the fort here in uh, Florida. But um, wherever this decide to go in terms of counterattack is definitely going to be able to... Um, do quite a lot of damage on us until we're able to bring in the force from up here, which is going to take quite a few turns, and the forces or volunteers from Philadelphia and Boston coming down. 
But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with this. We're gonna have... I'm trying to avoid the major naval battle here, just because I know that it will take forever to do that battle, given the amount of ships that will take part. So I kind of want to take out Genoa, so at least that navy is gone, and then I just have to worry about two full stacks of Spanish ships. I wonder, actually, where is Spain's new capital? It's Morocco, and as of yet, there's no, like, unhappiness due to the fact that they've lost their capital, but uh, that is sure to come. Um, I was hoping maybe we could recruit... I'm looking for another area where I can get the more revolutionary troops. How much is it going to cost me to build up all these buildings? I'm interested in that main palace. It's going to cost me 21,000. It's not that bad. Anyways, we're on a good way of... Uh, Continuing this revolutionary war as hopefully it's Portugal now having a border with us will stay out of the fight and not go ahead in um, Try and I <laughs> first I thought it said palace of the mafia which um, I don't know Portuguese ma mafia who knows um, right With all that said it's time to say as I always say Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.